Hey, get in here. Dallas is about to start. Hi, it's Audrey Landers, and I want to tell you about the upcoming Dallas reunion on October 25th, 26th, 27th at the South Fork Ranch. We're going to have a cocktail party, autograph sessions, photo ops, tours of the mansion, a concert by Josh Henderson, and hey, what's a Dallas reunion? That a real Texas barbecue. <laughs> Hope to see you. Welcome to the Ewing Barbecue Podcast, a DOA South Fork Experience episode number six that we are doing here. Uh, we had Josh Henderson and Mario De La Casa. We had David Hainan, Jana Tim, and Mario De La Casa. He's becoming quite a regular. Uh, Cherie Wilson, uh, episode three. And then I did a tour of the South Fork Experience website in episode four. And we just recorded with Kathy Podwell, and today we have Audrey Landers, who seems to have been coming and going from Dallas for as long as we can remember. <laughs> yes. Welcome, welcome. So it's it's uh, it's been a while. We last had you on with uh, Lee McCluskey, who That's right, and you reunited after since uh, what was it that trip to Israel with Steve and Susan. Yes, that was quite an experience. Yeah. And I know the cast got together in March at uh, in Burbank, and a lot of fans were asking, where's Audrey? We missed you. But uh, oh, we, had... we had some personal, I was dealing with something that I haven't talked about at all. My mom, who's very close to me, mm -hmm. um, became ill and... Um, I was pretty much taking care of her in my house for four years. And, um, you know, it was pretty hard to uh, navigate the real world. Right. <laughs> we had COVID during that time, which for us, honestly, was kind of a blessing, you know, as tragic as it was in in many, many ways, including some, even in our family. Um, but it was a chance for our whole family to stay together in one place. And we had very precious time with my mom before she passed. And she was a remarkable woman. I was reading her story in the obituary and uh, yeah. just quite a amazing life she led. And... She was a groundbreaking, amazing person. And she was always the the highlight of uh, your social media stories yeah, and stuff. Had, and we shared a we had a great journey together, but I don't want to dwell on it. Yeah, right. And uh, but the fans the fans missed you. I missed them too. <laughs> and uh, they they were asking about you, but you're coming to South Fork this fall. I to, am. Uh, you know, we had another little reunion, which wasn't so little actually. We were in uh, Palm Springs, some of us, last um, April, June, something. It was yeah. June. I think it was. I think it was June because I was yeah, trying to go June. and I I couldn't I couldn't get out yeah. there because because mm -hmm. we spent we spent all our money. Linda and Priscilla were supposed to be in Chiller in New Jersey oh. and um and they uh Linda did not make it cuz she did a 100 mile trek in Spain some some walk uh journey and she wow. had, had to go to that but um she, so we did not make it there but you had that reunion in Palm Springs we did and it was really fun and uh it was uh a for me, you know, I hadn't seen much of the cast in quite a while. I hadn't been to the Chiller or, you know, some of the other reunions. So for me, it was really special. Right. And it's, and I, I understand Michael Priest was actually there as well. He was. He's incredible. <laughs> He's incredible. We, we had him on and he could just talk for hours and hours about his, his experiences and his stories and yeah, 80, really 87 years old. 
Yeah, and I really loved working with Michael, um, not only on Dallas, but he directed me in an episode of MacGyver. Oh, and that's right. It was, an, it was just fantastic. It was such a good experience. And, um, it, you know, I've done many guest starring things over the years, but that one was particularly uh, unique in that I played twins, an evil and a nice twin. And so it was called, hmm, I don't know, Two Times Trouble or something like that. And I got so, to sing in it. And so it was a really fun experience. So now you, you got to see what it was like for Patty Duke to play twins, uh, basically, because you got to. <laughs> they couldn't bring Ju Judy in, but uh, no. Um, the uh, So how did you. Right. But you, you all look so similar. Uh, it's just amazing. Uh, you know, I think in the media, perhaps, but in person. Right. Really yeah and um uh, so how did you get brought into the south fork experience that's coming up um you know they reached out and they said this wonderful event is happening and would i participate and i thought wow this sounds like so much fun it's three days of partying <laughs> with fans and friends and castmates so i know there's a cocktail hour on Friday night for the VIPs and a concert. Uh, we, we'd love to get you up there singing at some point, but uh, <laughs> I would at some point uh, we'll do one and I'll sing for sure. Uh, I know they were are trying to make an annual ev event with different things happening every yeah. year. So maybe if, if this is successful, then uh, we can get you, get a uh, Audrey Landers concert up there. Uh, oh, that would be fun. Yeah, I've been doing yeah. some singing. Look, as I said, my life has been pretty much on hold, except for I did get away for a short time and did a, a movie up in the Cascade Mountains for a lifetime. And, you know, and I, and I did the Dallas thing in uh, Palm Springs, and I've done a few concerts as well. So I squeezed in my, uh, I did a wonderful concert, and my mom even was able to attend um, last year at the Sarasota Opera House. And oh, I remember that. Yes. <laughs> but I did my show and I was, oh, I had such a good time. And I brought Daniel, my son, who's an mm -hmm. amazing singer. And we did uh, some songs together as well. And then he kind of brought the house down with his own material. So we really had a great time. And he's, he's quite a talent. I've, I've seen him on social media. He's just just has his hands in everything there. He does. Uh, he is truly a renaissance man. Um, he can do pretty much anything in any genre. And I'm not just talking about in show business, you know, he has, and I'm bragging. He's my son. Right. <laughs> but he's also my collaborator and business partner. And right. uh, we have many projects, four in particular, that are uh, well along in the development phase that we've written together. And, um, but he's just, uh, you know, he can, he, show business is one thing, but bring him into a house, he can renovate it by hand. Okay. I mean, really? He can do, yeah. Oh my God. He is so amazingly talented. And of course, you know, his singing. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's got two or 300 songs in his catalog. And, one and I know he, hmm? and I know, and I know he did that concert in uh, New York. Uh, I think it was with, um, was it Aaron Carter years ago? Oh, they yeah, were on the same bill. Yeah. Yeah. In New York at Webster hall when it was, uh, and now it's resurrected again. And, um, you know, he was on X factor, you know, he's had quite mm -hmm. a special career. He's, as I said, he's truly a Renaissance man. And I've, I've, I've the entire I've, comedy series, which we're in development, uh, in, in fairly moving along, but he's written in, it's a really zany, um, crime comedy an irreverent crime comedy series. So, you know, he's, he's, uh, pretty amazing. You have, to, you have to keep us posted on all these developments so we can get the word out there to everybody. Cause Part of what we do is not only talk about the episodes, but of mm -hmm. the show, but also promote what y'all, all of you are doing now and just social causes and interests and things like that. And, uh, mm -hmm. and now you, you were at South Fork in 2008 and that was a, 
that was a little bit of a, we, we're not mincing words. We'll say it was a bit of a mess. Yeah. It was a bit of a mess, but it was, it was great for fans to just be able to interact with you all however they could they meant so they meant well it, and it should have gone off a little more smoothly but you know things happen and we've grown it's been about 15 16 years yeah, and we know how to do it right <laughs> and we have we have david hanen running this event and he's we've talked to him and he's given us as many assurances as possible that this is going to be completely different than what happened in 2008 and uh we have a section where it's going to be like like a comic con type of a deal where the fans can do the meet and greets and the photo packages and i have you up on the website um fans can purchase them on the website i guess autograph 40 dollars selfie 35 and professional photo op 65. i haven't That's... seen that i'll have to look it up oh. <laughs> i'll have to I, look that up on the south Fork experience website yeah southforkexperience.com okay. Oh, and uh, I've gone through it. I did a tutorial video just because people were confused about the different packages that they can get. And they're going to have um, a brunch on Sunday. And some of the cast will be doing tours of the ranch. So yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the mansion, which will be really fun because, you know, places people haven't seen in person for sure. Exactly. Exactly. So, um what does it mean just 40 it's been what 46 years <laughs> don't even say it it doesn't and, make any sense and, and you're and you're only 29 uh <laughs> okay 39 and holding i will Thir give you okay 30 39 you and milton burl are eternally <laughs> 39 yes but what does it mean because we i was the podcast team was out in burbank with 25 plus members of the cast they had uh patrick linda everybody joan van ark was there christopher atkins uh charlene um omri katz and josh harris were there and uh, they're in their 40s now if you can believe that <laughs> but um people came from around the world what what does it say what's the the reach uh it's amazing uh you know i think look even at the last thing we did in palm springs people came from around the world just for that event which was not highly publicized or anything um for me personally i have a lot of european fans um not only because of dallas but because of my music career um you know i've had decades of hit records um many which I wrote and, you know, still go to Europe several times a year. Mm -hmm. um, but Dallas had an impact on people truly around the world. I mean, when it broke out, it was the number one show in over a hundred countries. And you remember there weren't a lot of channels <laughs> and networks and people were so in three. Yeah, really. And people were just so involved and they um, connected with the characters and they connected with the story. And the fact that it, it continued each week left you at the edge of your seat. You couldn't stream it all at once and gobble it all up. You had to digest it slowly and think about it and wonder what was going to happen next. And, um, it was a special time, you know, and the characters, of course, being so much bigger than life. People either wanted to emulate them or they wanted to hate them or they just, you know, um, but there was always something relatable about every character. And I know we did a, I did a podcast recently with uh, Melody Anderson, who was in one episode playing Dusty Farlow's wife, Linda, and she is a clinical social worker now and she's going to come back on on a reoccurring basis and talk about a different topic like alcoholism or trauma and this and that and part of what she's going to do is we're going to take the characters from the show and she is going to professionally diagnose the different characters and 
just <laughs> some of their issues and the ways to treat oh, them. And <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's interesting because you mentioned streaming and back then I'm sure nobody thought that all these years later there would be streaming DVDs and podcasts and mm -hmm. the pandemic really opened up the opportunity for the next generation to start watching and binge watching. And now you have 26 year olds and things coming up going, I walk, I got addicted and this and that. And so it just, it's timeless in a way, but some of the fashions can be a bit dated. <laughs> I love the fashions. <laughs> I don't get, you know what? I pay no attention to what's dated or not. If I love it, I wear it. And I still exactly. have a lot of that wardrobe. I do. And you and you have the green dress that I first met you in in I 2012. Did, because I rewore it and in Palm Springs. I did the interview for, what was it, for Entertainment Tonight, and I was wearing it. And I was so proud that I was still able to wear it. Well, I'm, it's it's like Barbara Eden. I'm sure she can still fit into that genie's outfit. Oh, uh, sure. But, but yeah. um, <laughs> I was going to ask that, did you take anything when you left the show, any memorabilia? So you said you have some wardrobe or? Well, the wardrobe was my own, okay? Um, really? And um, there were a few things that I was, I never like took anything, no. I don't think that was an issue then. Um, if there was something special, I could either have bought it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so I have a few of them. It's probably more for people when some off at for charities. Oh, the uh, wardrobe or hats or things like that. I've I've auctioned off for charities. And one of the things we're talking about, we've kicked around for the podcast, is to have different cast members maybe donate an item that we would raffle off with the money going to the cast member's charity of choice at some point. So. That's something we might pursue at some point a after the event in the fall, because a lot of our podcasts leading up are just making our way around to each cast member, getting them on, publicizing. And we, we saw your little video that they posted today for, uh, for the, pr for the promoting. And um, so what, what are you most looking forward to just getting back to there and seeing people and, I think, of course, that's like the most uh, exciting thing for me to be able to see everyone again. Um, I mean, we haven't really been in touch in a very long time. And um, everyone's lives obviously went in many different directions. And um, but this is the one thing that just like ties us all together. And it, it's, uh, what did Patrick say once? It's the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> <laughs> and do you, so do you have any, anything in development that you can um, share now or? Yeah, I mean, look, we have um, something we've been working on for quite a few years, actually, because it takes that for a big project. And it's um, a dark pop musical hmm. film. Okay for which Daniel and I wrote, well, he wrote all the music. I wrote the screenplay. Uh, we have interest from a great world-renowned choreographer, director, and, you know, so we're plugging along, trying to get investors on board or to now begin, which we haven't done yet, actually pitching it to production companies. We haven't done it yet, and uh, we're ready. <laughs> You're ready. You're ready. I, I know you. You had you've mentioned this before, but um, I always find it funny because I think 2008 Daniel was what like 15, and he jumped on a plane and met you at. <laughs> we went. My mom and I went to the Dallas reunion in 2008, mm -hmm. and you know, I didn't really think about it. I I thought mm, it might be fun for Daniel, but we didn't really. I didn't pursue it. Well. We landed at like 11 p.m., my mom and I, and we looked at each other and said, darn, I wish Daniel was here. So I called him up, and he said, no problem. I booked a ticket. I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> so he 
got a ride to the airport because he couldn't drive yet. And, 15. Uh, no, you can't drive a 15. <laughs> Florida. Um, but not anyway. legal, legal. <laughs> borderline. <laughs> you get your permit at 15. Oh, some people anyway. shouldn't have. <laughs> yes. and, um, and Larry and I were doing some promo things around town that morning. And we were in a stretch limo. And of course, there's Larry with the hat and, you know, in all of his large, largesse. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> And um, I got a, a call and I said, oh, Daniel's coming in right now. I, I you know, I'm going to send a car for him. He said, well, heck, why don't we just go pick him up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Larry. <laughs> so Daniel had no idea. And he knew somebody would be meeting him there. We pulled up in this big stretch limo with Larry and me and we picked him up at you know, the airport, and <laughs> it was a fun experience. Oh. Is he going to surprise you in October? Or... <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. I know he was he was sending me pictures from the Palm Springs event to post because uh, oh, really? we were we were talking on Instagram, and he was, like, sending me whatever pictures he was taking because I said, I can't be there. I want to pu publicize everything, and he was uh... – he was great to send yeah. the pictures and everything. Uh, well, we pretty much travel everywhere together, you know, as business partners, um, you know, and so I'm hoping that he will come along there as well. Um, yeah, we have, uh, we're, we're actually, I forgot to say, mention, we're doing another project that's coming up um, the end of September. And it's just a little taste. It's a, a TV show. Um, in which okay. we play mother and son. Very. Um, ha have you practiced for this role of mother and son? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> rather dysfunctional family, but a f definitely fun because it's a, a comedy. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that's at the end of September, and we we'll, yeah. we can. Okay, so I'll we'll let we'll know, de so know more about it where it will air and all that. And we're gonna plaster that out there and everything okay. um uh uh looking over just quickly here looking over the list here of uh patrick linda charlene who's a played your sister-in-law uh um steve did you did you share oh, many scenes saw, uh, we saw it all of i uh, you know we were together in palm springs right did you share many scenes with steve i know he was off didn't. Side, but you went to Israel together with him and Susan and Lee. Yeah, they're crazy. Uh, yeah, Cherie, uh, Josh Henderson, who you got to slap in the back of the head in the. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and I, people still talk about this that exchange between you and Linda as they're get, as you're getting ready for that wedding and uh... yeah. <laughs> how. Obviously, she's one of the nicest people off off screen. And it, how is it to be friendly off screen, and then on screen you just have to turn around and, well, the only despicable thing, blah blah blah. <laughs> <laughs> just that. Well, I think it's actually it's it it's um it makes it more fun because mm -hmm. you know you you can kind of get as big and nasty as you want because you know in your heart you get along well and you know we like each other so it's kind right. of fun to throw it all out there and ingest exactly exactly uh jack scalia jenna lee harrison is coming uh played jamie obviously you worked with her when she was married uh no you didn't really work with her but i've known her from other events earlier on like uh oh wow my goodness like battle of the network stars and things like that you know a lot of events and it's it's funny we had um battle of the network stars and then there was circus of the stars too back in the day yeah. and my uh did of the stars. she did performing i did not i remember <laughs> that yes um and she was on uh BJ and the Bear with uh, Greg Evigan, who actually kidnapped Charlene in an episode of Dallas. <laughs> oh. um, 
uh, at the circus, uh, we had um, Deb Tornelli was in Burbank with Deb Bernard and Denon Simpson. It was the first reunion of the secretaries. And okay. someone showed up from Circus of the Stars that worked with her and brought a scrapbook photo album of all the old behind the scenes pictures. And I th think Judy may have been in a background shot uh, there as okay. well. Yeah, Judy did some amazing things on that. You know, she's. She was a gymnast before she was an actress. And um, so she did like flying trapeze and like a roller skating thing. She was a daredevil. I don't know how those, tra I don't know how the trapeze people do it, but <laughs> uh, we, uh, Joan Van Ark and Kathy Podwell are so far announced. And there might be another person or two that has not been announced yet. Um, Obviously missing, uh, as they are not here anymore, are your dear Kenny, yeah. Larry, Barbara, Howard, just some of the... And there was talk that, um, obviously, you know, South Fork had been sold in recent years, and there was they were going to tear it down and build houses, but they can't yeah. do that because it's technically a burial ground. And do you know whose ashes are there? Yeah. Larry. Really? Yep. There was an article. Larry's ashes were spread there, and it is technically a burial ground. So from beyond the grave, Larry has saved South Fork Ranch. Oh, my God. I had no idea. I had no so idea. obviously they're going to be in people's minds that weekend. And there's also um, an auction gonna that's going to take place to benefit. Ben, benefit. My words are... <laughs> tripping out um the yellow rose gala foundation which sheree has been involved with for ms research and mm -hmm. stuff like that i think mario de la casa might be doing some artwork for that as well and Beautiful. uh oh my God. yeah have you have you seen his work before yes oh my goodness it's just it's it's so lifelike i don't know I don't know who he's doing paintings of and not it's able to do paintings of. But... Life, actually. <laughs> they really are. They're just magnificent. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's really going to be a full weekend, and we're definitely looking forward to having you out there and just everybody and being part of the experience. I know we're going to be on site as the official podcast of the event, and we'll be around filming things and stuff. So um, any last messages for everybody out there just to well you know i just i'm always grateful to all the fans um who have stuck by us all these years and the new fans that have joined in um and uh i hope that uh we can continue to thrill you <laughs> um with whatever work we put out there and that you uh, continue to follow us from the Dallas experience. And whatever you're wearing, make sure it works well with water because you never know who was going to end up in the pool at a South at a oh, barbecue. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Maybe I'll do the pushing, okay? But I'm not going in. <laughs> Je Jenna Lee did the pushing with Fern Fitzgerald all those years ago, yeah. and uh, she's going to be there. Fern was actually in Burbank as well, though. I hadn't seen her oh. before. but uh, um, So, yeah, we'll definitely be out there. Go to SouthForkExperience.com, get your tickets, and uh, everyone show up. It's going to be an event oh, for I, sure. Yeah, I'm looking forward to meeting as many people as show up. I'm you know, really looking, no, I'm looking forward to it a lot. And it'll, it'll be a just a great way to get back in touch with everybody. And um, we will see everybody on the next episode of the Ewing Barbecue Podcast, where we, I think we might have Charlene and Steve or Linda and Patrick. I don't know who's coming on next. I have our consultant Jana Tim from South Fork working on scheduling so um, tell them I said hi if you see them before I see them, okay <laughs> oh I definitely will I definitely will thanks for watching everybody and y'all come back now you hear? Yeah.